Hello, my name is Matthew Jackson. I'm the drummer for Lindell Baptist Church in Houston, Texas. In today's lesson, I want to talk to you about using the rain stick. Now here's a very good uh, coloring and texturing techniques that a lot of praise drummers overlook uh, when playing in a praise band. Maybe you wouldn't use this quite as often as you would, let's say, when you use the chimes or when you play the cymbals, but this is a very handy tool to have in your arsenal of uh, drum equipment uh, that, you're, that you'll be playing. Uh, the rain stick obviously gives a water type effect, okay? So obviously you would want to play this rain stick uh, on songs having to do with water, where water is mentioned. I know in my church we have this one song called uh, Dame Awa De Beber, um, which means give me water to drink. So when we play that, I'll use this to help uh, enhance the effect of that song, okay? Now, they have, rain sticks come in different sizes and shapes and lengths. This is probably one of the longer rain sticks that you're gonna see. I've seen them half this length. The generally, I don't like the, the, the shorter ones. Uh, now, the shorter ones, the advantage of the shorter ones is they can double up as a shaker. You know, you can do other things with it other than creating the water effect, but I'm not a really a, a person that's really big into shakers, so I prefer the longer uh, rain sticks because you can get a more, a longer sustained sound out of them. The big key thing in working a rain stick is you want to you want to sustain the water sound in effect as long as you possibly can, okay? So generally when you store a rain stick and you're just, like, just keeping it away when you're not using it, you want to store it in the vertical position to get all the beads at the, at the lower end, okay? So then when you're ready to play, you, you let the beads fall, let the, let the law of gravity take its effect. But here's the thing, you want to you want to do it slowly in a very slow way. So the way I, what I recommend is, is you have the rain stick at a 45 degree angle, and then you rotate the rain stick on your fingertips. It's very important that you let them set on your fingertips. You don't want to grasp them like that. You, want to, you don't want to grasp it because it will cut off the resonance and the sound. You want it to vibrate it. So you want to get the most out of it. So if you had the rain stick at a 45 degree angle, then rotate it. And you can rotate it in towards you like I'm doing it right now, or rotate it this direction. Uh, whatever uh, is comfortable for you, it really doesn't matter. But the rotation uh, controls the rate of flow of the beads inside the, the rain stick as it goes down. So that's the main thing there. Uh, it's really not much to it. It's a nice effect to have. If uh, Sometimes I'll get a vocalist to, to play the rain stick and just put it up next to the microphone so it can pick up the sound. Uh, the rain stick is probably not going to permeate throughout the building quite as well as, let's say, the chimes would. So, but with or without a mic, this is a very good effect on those songs having to do with water. And that's our lesson on how to use the rain stick. Thank you very much.